10 of the world's most beloved elephants. If you're looking to learn something, you clicked on the right video. I'm the voice of Knowledge Feed, and let's get right on into it. Number 10, Bader. Bader, an Asian elephant that lived in a zoo in Kazakhstan, apparently had the incredible ability to talk. Witnesses reported that he could say more than 20 words and phrases, including drink, give, and barter is good. He lived his whole life in the Karaganda Zoo and never saw or heard another elephant. Allegedly, a night watchman first noticed his incredible ability one night in 1980 when he caught the creature speaking to himself. The elephant's case became a subject of worldwide interest and was included in several books on animal behavior as well as the proceedings of scientific conferences. His likeness was even put on a stamp in the country. All of this attention also brought a spate of additional zoo visitors. A circus in Czechoslovakia offered a rare bonobo in exchange for barter, a proposal that the zoo denied. Unfortunately, Barter's life came to a tragic, untimely end in 1993 when zookeepers accidentally gave the 24-year-old an overdose of sedatives. Had Barter ever been reunited with his original family, it would have been quite a spectacle. When elephants are reunited after a long time apart, they run towards each other, screaming and trumpeting the entire way. They lean and rub each other, spin around, and even defecate out of sheer delight. Number 9. Ruby Looking back at the life of Ruby, an elephant who was famous for her ability to create paintings, it seems that she was poked and prodded by human beings too much and might have lived longer if she had been left alone. Born in Thailand in the summer of 1973, she was shipped to the Phoenix Zoo when she was just seven months old. Initially, she lived amongst chicken and goats separate from other elephants. Eventually, she was moved to the other enclosure with the zoo's other two elephants, but they never got along. In 1996, she was shipped to the Tulsa Zoo to mate with a male elephant. After she became pregnant, she would again move back to the Phoenix Zoo to give birth. Unfortunately, she had trouble during labor and zoo vets were forced to euthanize her. When she was young, zookeepers saw Ruby scratching in the dirt with a stick. When they gave her a brush and an easel instead of the stick, her unusual talent took form. Her paintings actually sold for money, with the most expensive going for a whopping 25,000 bucks. Number 8. Echo The subject of several publications, Echo was an elephant matriarch who was studied for three decades by ethiologist Cynthia Moss starting in 1973. A matriarch, in case you were wondering, is the oldest and largest living female in a group of elephants. She was the first subject of the longest running study of a land mammal ever performed. Observing Echo contributed in a big way to our understanding of elephants, including their life cycles, emotional ranges, and methods with which they care for their young. Her name was derived from the radio collar that Moss originally fitted her with. Though she passed away in 2009 at the age of 65, researchers continue to study her family to this day. Number 7. Hanskin Rembrandt's 1637 charcoal painting, An Elephant, depicts Hanskin, a female elephant that sounds like it had some remarkable abilities. Throughout the 17th century, Hanskin would tour Europe demonstrating circus skills like sword fighting, waving a flag, and even pickpocketing. A 17th century copper plate that would be sold at events as a souvenir shows the various tricks that she was able to perform. She went to Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Germany, and Florence where she passed away in November of 1655. Another famous artist, Stefano della Bella, sketched the creature several times, including shortly after her death. Amazingly, the skeleton of the beast is preserved to this day in Florence. Number 6. Empathetic Elephant Elephants are awesome creatures that deserve our attention and sometimes, as in the case of this story, our sincere gratitude. Of course, they can also be aggressive and thanks to their sheer mass, a bit overwhelming. An unknown male Indian elephant was rampaging through a village in West Bengal's Perulia district. Suddenly, as it smashed through a wall of a house, it heard the sounds of a crying baby who was sleeping in its bed. Incredibly, according to the child's parents, the beast stopped and started to remove debris from all around the infant with his trunk before turning back the way it came. The family couldn't have been too happy about the damage to their place, but were very grateful that their daughter was left with only minor external injuries from the incident. Number 5. Moshe and Modala When they stepped on landmines over a decade ago, Moshe and Modala were just kids. Had anyone not done anything, it's likely that neither would be around today. Luckily, the Asian Elephant Foundation in Northern Thailand took the pair under their care and fitted them with prosthetic legs. 
The first procedures were international news as they became the first elephants ever fitted with prosthetic limbs. As they grow, surgeons build and attach newer, better legs so that they can move and frolic around to their heart's desires. The Asian Elephant Foundation is doing big things. When they opened in 1993, they became the world's first elephant hospital, and today they have 17 patients, each as important and adorable as the next. Number 4. Packy Packy became one of the most popular animals in the country when his mother, Belle, gave birth to him on April 14, 1962. At the time, he was the first elephant born in the Western Hemisphere in 44 years. The news made international headlines, with people falling in love with the creature thanks to adorable pictures like this, where Packy is playfully interacting with a sharply dressed man. In many ways, he provoked people to increase their knowledge of elephants and their welfare. He would grow to reach a staggering shoulder height of 10 and a half feet, making him one of the tallest elephants in the world. Backed by much controversy, he spent his entire life in the care of the Oregon Zoo. Throughout his life, many people called for his release from captivity. Sadly, he passed away earlier last year. Zoo staff and veterinarians made the tough decision to euthanize the 54-year-old because he had TB. Many animal rights advocates, including the group in defense of elephants, disagreed with the decision as they felt he wasn't suffering from any physical pain. Number 3. John L. Sullivan Named after the boxer Boston Strong Boy Sullivan, this tuskless elephant would execute boxing acts with his trainer, Epp Thompson. In his life, he would perform for several different circuses, including the Ringling Brothers and the Sells Brothers. Eventually, he would be retired from the act, but remained with the troupe, babysitting for performers' children and leading the circus elephants to and from showgrounds. In 1922, John made a journey from Madison Square Garden to the Elephant Hotel in Somers, New York, to pay tribute to Old Beck and lay a wreath on her monument. Ten years later, Old John would succumb to either a heart attack or old age in Sarasota, Florida. Number 2. Hanno King Manuel I of Portugal gave Hanno, a white elephant, to Pope Leo X. The Pope had brought Hanno to Rome in 1514, where he quickly became his favorite animal. The papal court delighted in his appearance of the beast, and he was often featured in processions for everyone to see. Suddenly though, just two years after he came to Rome, he came down with a bad case of constipation. He fell ill and was given a treatment that would ultimately be his demise. Reports state that the grief-filled emperor stayed by his favorite pet's side until the very end. Elephants show a broad range of emotions, like grief. They will visit the bones of deceased loved ones and caress them with their trunk. They stop over the remains and take a silent pause that usually lasts for several minutes. Number 1. Old Bet It seems that Old Bet was just the second elephant to be brought to the US, and the first performance elephant in the country. The first direct reference to Old Bet was from 1804, when she was in Boston as a part of a menagerie. A man named Hakalia Bailey purchased the beast in 1804 for 100,000 bucks and gave her the name Old Bet. While on tour in 1816, local farmer Daniel Davis shot her dead near Alfred, Maine, a crime for which the man was later convicted. His reasons were not concretely known, but people feel that the farmer thought it was sinful for anyone to pay money to see an animal. Of course, someone probably should have pointed out to Mr. Davis that it's also sinful to shoot an animal. Old Bet is immortalized in the form of a statue and stands at Elephant Hotel in Somers, New York. Wow, did y'all see that? That was one heck of a video. If you want to see more like it, click on this link right here for some more knowledge feed. I'll see you there.